I think most of the tech and rages are great, but here are some things I'll do to fix some of them. I'm no graphic designer, editor, martial artist, but this is what I'll do. Claudius is really nice though, I wouldn't change much except this initial hit, how she bounces up, I think she should go just a bit higher, otherwise the rage out itself is pretty nice, and I love where she lands at the end. That's really important. I'll try not to be too biased for Alyssa because I don't like her animations now in this game, but here's what I changed, this initial hit, it should have been something like this kick, I don't know why she uses her chainsaws like baseball bats. The second part is pretty underwhelming, again chainsaws don't like that. I wish the focus here was on the leg, maybe some rocket boosters on the leg rather than the focus on the head here. If we keep the focus on the head, I wish it was ticking just to sell the fact that the head is supposed to be a bomb. For Asuka, I wish her first pose wasn't her reversal, it doesn't look like she's winding up for an attack. And I wish the first knee right here had a big impact, a crunch, a flash, something to really sell it. This wind up is a bit unnecessary but I wish they used her actual hit effect instead of the Tekken 8 wind. The triple camera is pretty nice but instead of bouncing up I wish they dragged across the floor as a callback to Tekken 5. As the sun is rage that has grown on me, the first hit, I, I kind of like that her punch springs up after it hits you. Uh, everything else here is pretty okay, can't complain. The kick is amazing, I wish it had a bigger impact. The effects here are a bit too much, I feel like it would have sold that comedic effect if it was just a small little boop. I actually really love Brian's Rage Out, it would be a 10 out of 10. The only thing that would make it an 11 out of 10 is if doing the zoom in with the eye thing, I wish it was like an x-ray that zooms into her beating heart, you know something to really sell what he's locking in on. So this punch actually has that impact of like wow he really hit her there. Devil Jeans is another 10 out of 10 rage art. The only things are, I don't think he needed to bounce after the claw strike. Should have just grabbed him off the floor. And here, I wish the chains creeped up on Kazuya. I wish you got to see that for an extra second. And lastly, he just falls way too close to the opponent. Like, they're too close after all that. I really like Dragon's rage art. I just wish the second and third hits had more impact. The third hit should have been a wild running too. Right there, should have been a proper well running too. And then this build up, someone said it should have been a tank. <laughs> that could work. Or I wish we could see King's head when that impact happens. I wish you could see the opponent's head so that it really sells the impact. Fang's Rage Out was the first Rage Out to really astound me. I really love it. I just wish the kick that knocked them up into the air was a 4 4 3 animation instead of that split kick. And then this part is excellent. Nothing to change here except the ending. They're not high enough and they land too close. The only thing I'll change about Horang's Rage Out is the camera work. I feel like we're not getting a good view of what's actually happening. We just can tell he's kicking him, especially from the sound, but you can't tell the kind of kicks per se. And I don't know how he ends up above Lars after kicking Lars on top of him. I don't like that, but otherwise, 9 out of 10. Jack 8's Rage Out is pretty okay for what it is. I don't mind what they've decided to do. The only problem is this railgun. You can't tell what he's shooting him with. Is it a laser? Is it a rocket? Like, you just can't tell when he's hit. He's just hit. And they end up a bit too close again. I love the Jin's Rage Out. It's really simple and the visual effects really sell it. My only problem is this punch is too powerful. Lee doesn't go up in the sky first, but then later after all this talking, suddenly Lee is way up high. Also, there's no real sell as to Jin going through him. I wish it was like chains holding the opponent down or something to sell that. Yes, I've just gone through the opponent. I love Jun's Rage Out for what it is. I feel like the initial impact feels a bit too strong for what happens after. Also, this part is nice. I wish it wasn't fully white. I wish you could see the birds she calls just landing on Leo. And then, then they have the explosion and then you can see them fly off after. I feel like the white is a bit too much. Kazuya's Rage Out is objectively one of the best for me, whether I like the character or not. From the beginning pose, I love it. The charge up, I love it. The demon wings, love it. Laser going up in the air, love it. Flying up in the air, love it. Slamming him down, love it. The only problem is if you're not KO'd by this Rage Out, he doesn't kick you off. He just appears far from you. I don't like that. The good thing about King's Rage Out is the starting pose. Love that. The bad thing is that it just needs an entire reanimation. They had a lot of good ideas, great ideas, but they didn't connect them together <laughs> good enough. And this ending, the impact should have happened when they landed, not after, and then he farts. No. Kuma's rage out is just fine. I wish he let go of the fish after he hits her, so that it makes sense why it lands on his hands like that. Uh, Nina should have been twirling a bit more in the air. It doesn't make sense why she's still in there after all this wind up. Otherwise, it's pretty okay. Lars's rage out is 
hands down the best for me i have zero notes to make they did excellent work with the animation everywhere he's going the eye follows very easily and you can always see him the best part is here you can see him jump off the opponent and land continuity from start to finish love it Laws is another great rage art. I don't know much about Bruce Lee, so I can't make too many notes on that. I feel like this punch shouldn't have left Paul standing up straight. Otherwise, everything is great. Continuity goes. I don't like the Tekken 8 wind effects. I feel like they're too much. Should have been his own hit effects, but I love that you see him jump off the opponent. I think this rage art and this character just need to be redone. The pose doesn't lead into the punch, doesn't have much impact. The kicks doesn't make sense why he flies up into the air. The bomb part is fine. I like the freeze frame. I like that it ticks. The flower, that's great. The ending pose. That's subjective. Leo's Rage Art had potential to be really nice. I don't mind the grappling hook. I just wish the kick had a lot more impact but than it does. It feel, feels a bit too soft. And then this shoulder, I don't know why it connects after he hits her. The impact should be on the initial hit or make emphasize that it's a double shoulder and not just one. Leroy's Rage Art is great. The continuity flows. What he says works mid-combo or as a panic move. Everything connects smoothly. I only wish that the dragon that appears appeared much sooner than it does, otherwise love the rage art. Lily is easily top 2 most fluidly animated Tekken characters, love the slap which is a bit lower. I don't like that the jump cuts they've added don't really continue well from left hand from chin to the back, I don't see the continuation there here as well but the last part they animated that, love that, all the way to the end it's nice, I just wish she stood up a bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have two key changes for Nina's Rage Art. I wish that pose and what she says made sense. You're not getting away and then looking away doesn't make sense. This part is fine but I wish she was shooting like darts or bombs that, what, that way this palm explosion pushes them away and then they explode from a distance. Otherwise everything is fine for me. Panda's Rage Art flows really well for me. I like the AOP start. The charge, I don't know if that means it has more range, but it looks silly if she just runs on the spot. Everything here is really cool. I just wish this was a butt attack instead of the down back one, because she was already facing away, she should have stayed facing away, but otherwise, I like it. I find it hard to fix Paul's Rage Art. I don't really like what he says, doesn't scream Rage Art to me, and I feel like the focus is on the wrong things. It should have been on the punches instead of him, though the jacket ripping apart, that was great, but I feel like the punches aren't really sold in this Rage Art. I love 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 Raven's Rage Art, I just wish he didn't speak when he did that, I wish he focused on the ninja sounds when he does the hand signs, otherwise everything else is great, you can't really see much so you can't notice the disruption in continuity, the kick sells well, he lands well, love everything about it. The only thing I'll change about Reina's Rage Art is the lines she says, I wish she said submit to me at the end before the final punch and then she says know your place as she starts the Rage Art, I think that fits better, otherwise I... I think the Rage Art is pretty okay. Oh, she got a teleport after. Uh, I don't know about that. I don't mind Shane's Rage Art. I quite like the fast part. I love the surfing on the ground. That's great. I feel like he throws him up in the air above him. I don't know how he ends up above them and how he can generate enough force to come down with a lot of impact. I wish he used his sword or something. Otherwise, it's pretty okay. Steve's Rage Art is good. I'll just change the order of the voice lines. He'd start with good night, and then when he does the right big punches, that's when he's like, now this is what I call fun. And then right after the punch, that's when he says, that's a knockout. I'd love that. Otherwise, everything else is fine. I don't have many notes about Victor's Rage Art. I think it's pretty nice. I like what he says. I like the feeling of the impact. I'll just add a filter here when he says checkmate to really highlight the power coming from the sword to make this final hit really work. I don't know why they explode and bounce. If they emphasize the sword a bit more, maybe to make a bit more sense. I don't know what to say about Shai's Rage Art. I don't like what she says at the start. It don't work much in combos. There's a lot of wind. I don't like this technique wind. I feel like they should use the character's effects more. Otherwise, what she does is pretty nice. Like, it's pretty okay. It's a good Rage Art. Yoshimitsu's Rage Art is really nice. I wish she said something a bit more epic at the beginning. Otherwise, the continuity looks fine. Uh, the only thing is that after the slashes, he doesn't stand in an epic way. Like He appears behind you in a kind of clownish way. I wish it was a bit more menacing, otherwise I really like the Rage Art. Zafina's Rage Art is pretty nice. I like what she says. Uh, it works well, especially as a panic move. Uh, she grunts a bit much, <laughs> like it's a bit too much, which it just feels a bit out of place, like all Tekken grunts. And the opponent lands way too close after all that. Way too close. <laughs> 